I actually had to develop an interest in architecture. And I think it became naturally to me on how the work was made because my generation of, of sculpture, uh, we addressed uh, a sculpture in relationship to architecture. A lot of my pieces were floor to wall based. So the support of the architecture is what holds the piece up. And also in my generation, a lot of artists did not deal with the base. The floor becomes the base, the ceiling becomes the base. So in, in a way, my generation set the mode to open up an understanding of architecture in that, in that respect. Uh, if the architecture is supporting the piece, you're not having this idea of the art being somewhat in the corner of the architecture on a pedestal or something. Because before I started making commission work, you'd talk to an architect and say, oh yes, you put the sculpture in the corner on the pedestal. Well, those concepts of design and architecture have changed very much and um, I'm also of the generation of artists who directly influenced uh, architecture because I was a very good friend of Gordon Mata who is 10 years my senior but he because he understood this sculpture that addressed floor to wall he began to address other architectural issues that were even more about architectural space and volume uh, like his purchase of space between buildings and building works uh, 10 feet by two, 10 inches by 200 inches, or dissecting a building, or cutting a building in half. These were, became revolutionary ideas in architecture as well. I never studied architecture. Uh, I uh, really became interested in architecture, I think, by being from an anthropological sense of really, I mean starting with the cave. And it was an interesting way to apply that to being interested in light as well, because for instance, we'd have no art without light in the cave. Uh, also these ideas of shelter, I then addressed uh, what it was like to uh, move through an architectural volume and then began to understand contemporary architecture as opposed to primitive architecture, which it's skin-based as opposed to solid-based. And that fit into my interest in contemporary extruded, extruded material. Yes, uh, I would... Uh, there are a lot of Japanese architects I'm interested in. I'm interested in architects who are dead, unfortunately. I'm a big Paul Rudolph fan, and I just saw a wonderful house of his in Fort Worth. Um, a lot of contemporary architecture is somewhat almost made for experiencing contemporary art. So naturally I'm drawn to that kind of architecture. And um, uh, I'm also, I like to experience all kinds of architecture. Uh, I also grew up in the South in really what friends have referred to as New Orleans as the realm of America architecturally, because architecture in New Orleans is one of the biggest surprises in America. You walk, turn the block, and you're just amazed at uh, architecture really there. I know of one 16th century building in New Orleans that's fabulous, and ancient architecture in Mexico is fabulous too. I'm very interested in the East. I would, it would be interesting to see how one might try to work uh, in, uh, in, in that kind of setting. I think it's more difficult now. I, I, I don't know if I could work in China. I went to China early on. Uh, there might be too many restrictions. Uh, I... Um, I think it's very difficult to work in urban architecture unless you are somehow working with an architect who is addressing the urban condition. And of course, we're all subject to urban life and how it's going to change and quite frankly, we don't have some of the answers. I mean, we're stuck with the automobile for a while, but 
But when that automobile goes, what are we going to do? It's going to change the world. I think the, the, one of the biggest problems is that architects face themselves budget <laughs> and timing. I've been very lucky that when I do work with architects, I'm usually well within the time area. I somehow find it, uh, uh, I don't mind that, and that tends to work. That's why some of the projects work so well with architecture, is that the deadlines were met, and you need to in production. Well, again, we talk about money. <laughs> You know, I think that it's a question of, uh, you know, finance towards getting something built. Uh, but in the end, I think it's the architecture's understanding of what's necessary in the function and placement of work. And that's a totally new, uh, a new marriage of artists and architects. And quite frankly, it's, I, I think it's, it's working to the advantage of both now. Well, uh, first of all, making work in the studio really becomes the, uh, the language source for making all the, all the different art because it's where the ideas come from and it's where the experimentation comes from. But making work in architectural commission, you deal with scale, uh, in a much more broader sense. You're not experiencing art in a, like in a museum or a gallery context, or as we do traditionally in, you know, being in a church or synagogue or temple where the, the participant is there and the art is there. So you have this iconographic distance between art and viewing. In now in architectural uh, commission, you can think of the art as being entirely part of the architectural experience of moving through space, which I find very modern, very healthy in the direction we should be going, even for experiencing art. It's important that uh, books, people who are designing structures should be uh, somehow involved in industry that's designing the extruded material to go in architecture, like in lighting companies, it would be very interesting to have attaches at the universities that deal with these principles of lighting, not just the psychological effect of lighting or uh, the cost of lighting, but how uh, address the issues of how we use electricity, uh, how long the lighting source is, uh, the effects it does have on um, how we use lighting, basically. Uh, people still read, so they have, you have to see better, although we read from a plate of light now. I mean, I think books, books and newspapers and magazines are issues that might not be with us much longer, unfortunately.